Hey from Texas! Um, today it does not feel like I'm in Texas. It feels like, oh, hang on. Oh. I can feel it. Is it there? <laughs> today it feels like I am from Alaska, living in an igloo. Um, it is so cold in Texas and it never gets cold in Texas. So I am bundled up in my fleece. Texas A&M, Texas Aggie shirt. I'm trying to stay warm because it is so cold out there. So having said that, I canceled my sessions for today, my shoots at the studio, and I am home and I am going to teach you how to make your own perfume. I'm gonna share my favorite secret obsession with you. My sister knows about it, but nobody else knows that I do this. And it's so funny because I'll be in town somewhere. Somebody will comment. I, I usually get comments and they say, what perfume are you wearing? And I never know what to say because um, I just look at my husband and kind of wink and make a funny face and I'm like, oh, it's my home brew. <laughs> I, I haven't bought perfume in years, and I am a perfume junkie. I, I wear perfume depending on my mood, depending on the color of my outfit. I am constantly wearing something different. I don't have one signature scent that I wear. So in this video today, I'm going to teach you how to make your own designer top perfume. So if there's a scent out there that you just love, maybe check out these websites that I'm about to tell you about and see if you can find a dupe for your favorite scent. You can also make your own. You can, uh, I know that it involves essential oils. I know that you have to have base notes and top notes and middle notes and there's a science to all of that. I have not gotten that advanced. All I pretty much do is buy my scent and dilute it and there I have my perfume. So that's pretty easy and you're going to love to do this, I promise. This is gonna be your new addiction like me. What you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to check out, there's two websites that I have found to be the best quality. And I have gone to A-N-A-N-D-A. Uh, corporation. So I guess you'd say that Ananda, Ananda Corporation. I buy an ounce of my scent for $4. Uh, I did buy a four ounce bottle of my favorite uh, designer dupe that's by Lancome. It's called uh, La Vie Es Belle. Oh. If you know that fragrance, if you know that perfume that I'm talking about, you will know how great it is. But I paid $11 for four times uh, as much as this, so I got a four ounce bottle of that, and that will make you like 12 ounces of perfume. Another site that I like to use is called Exotic Fragrances. I have my receipts here, that's what I keep checking out. What my advice to you, what I love to do, is at this Exotic Fragrances website, they have a special that you get a little bottle that's this size, this one is, Michael Kors Gold, <laughs> so you can see the size of the bottle. And they come with a little roll-on top lid. If you buy the third of an ounce roll-on sample size from the fragrance, from the exoticfragrances.com website, you can make a bottle this size. And you don't have to measure anything, it is super easy. You just pour this into the bottle and you're gonna dilute it. If you buy these little uh, sample sets, you have to buy 12 of those. They are, you're not gonna believe this, <laughs> these are $2.50. All you do, and I don't have a, a knife in here with me, but you would just pop, the, this is why my, my nails look so bad. <laughs> you would just pop this little roll on top off. And so now you have a perfectly measured third of an ounce of your fragrance. So what you would do to make an ounce, I like my fragrances to be, um, they say a, a perfume is supposed to be 20%, so I like to make mine a little bit more concentrated. So this is my ounce bottle. If we were to pour this third of an ounce in here and just fill up the rest, then we should have around 33.3% of scent. This is, our, this is our highly concentrated, highly scented um, perfume. The other thing that you'll need is some type of little bottle. I gave $10 for a dozen of these. So that's a really cheap deal. A dozen of these for 10 bucks, and these are two ounce bottles. So I got these because they were a little larger. Then I also have 
these little plastic bottles. If you wanted something even cheaper, you can find these on Amazon, you can find them on eBay. I think you can even get them at Walmart, like little colored bottles for the travel size. So if you didn't want to make a, an investment, not that $8 is gonna be a huge investment, but you can also find these at um, probably the dollar store, I'm, you know, I would imagine. What else do you need? Bottle, scent, what do you dilute it with? You can order these from the same places that I just told you that you can order your scents from. You can order something called Mr. Ben's Perfume Dilutant. I don't know, can y'all see that really well with my light? Uh, this is 16 ounces and I paid $12 for this. 16 ounces would <laughs> go a really long way. I mean, can you imagine how you buy your perfume in, in a bottle this big? <laughs> so this was $12, this was $5, and then I got uh, the little bottles. These are just so not cute. I don't know why I'm going to show you how to make perfume out of these medicine type bottles, but they work. Have these little bottles, this would work as well too. This is a two ounce bottle. Same thing, really long straw that comes in there. And so what you will do is just kind of figure out, okay, when I put the lid on, if it comes down to maybe here, I'm gonna cut a little off the bottom. And I like to cut it at an angle. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Um, I cut it at an angle. I don't know why. <laughs> I just cut it at an angle because I feel like that helps the perfume to kind of the last little bits to get sucked up in there. So there's our bottle. We're ready to roll with that. You want to order this Mr. Ben's mixing solvent. It's a perfume um, dilutant, but I will tell you this. I'm going to smell this. And it has a, a sweetie, kind of really diluted, sugary smell. Look at this. If you don't want to order that, if you, because I mean, you're going to be ordering your scent anyway, so you might as well order a bottle of that. But if not, you can also use Everclear. This is 95% uh, alcohol, which is, I'm guessing, really close to what the Mr. Ben solvent is. And when you smell this, it has a sweetie smell. It, it smells a lot like this Mr. Ben's. I'm gonna do this little clear bottle so hopefully you can see how much I'm putting in there versus the blue bottle. I didn't think that out very well, did I? All right, so I'm gonna try to do this up in the air so I don't have to rearrange my camera setup. I'm just going to pour in about a fourth of this bottle. That looks about right to me. You see? Because like I said, around 20% is what a normal perfume would be. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more. A little bit more. Okay, so I put half of this bottle. So I've got half an ounce in there. That really looks like about a third, so that should give me a really nicely scented... Oh, it smells good. It smells good anyway. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, with this Mr. Ben's dilutant, you just... I'm gonna kinda spray it down the edge where the perfume ran down. Can you see it mixing in there? I don't want it too full, okay. All right, so then we're gonna just put our lid on. Hopefully I didn't overfill it. Oh, magic, look at it mixing up. It's all swirly, you can kinda of see the separation. So you just want to shake this up, mix this up. It takes it about 24 to 48 hours to really dissolve and incorporate in there really good. And that is it. That's all there is to making your own perfume. It is so simple. Uh, this black opium is the scent that I just made today and that smells amazing. <laughs> Smell. <laughs> Doesn't taste good. It smells great. <laughs> 
comment and tell me if you've ever made your own perfume. Um, if you have a recipe to mix essential oils together, like so many drops of lemon and so many drops of peppermint or so many drops of lavender, uh, comment down below because that might be something that I want to try. So far I've just bought my fragrances and gone from there, but I think that might be kind of a fun thing to try out. So let me know. Okay, so if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye. Giggle baggies. <laughs> Bye guys.